Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Missy and I am so happy that you are here today. We are going antique shopping today and then I will share my decor haul with you at the end of this video. Now get ready because this is the one with the unbelievable score. I cannot believe it and I cannot wait to share it with all of you. But don't skip ahead through the video to the haul because I want to have some fun today. I want you to let me know as you're watching the video what you think was the unbelievable score score and then kind of let me know at the end if you were guessing right. I think that will be a lot of fun and I cannot wait to hear from all of you. Now these were some really cute Valentines right here, but I was most interested in this bowl because it was like the perfect size with like the perfect depth. And when I turned it over, I did not record that part, but when I turned it over, it said not for sale. So such a bummer, but still some super cute Valentines. Does anybody need a big pink pig? This was such a big pig. They had several of these though, and they had them inside because the weather was really bad this day with snow and just bitterly cold. But I thought it was so funny seeing them inside because they look so much larger inside the store than I do sitting out front. find some really great deals in the antique stores and I love looking at this little booth right here in this one because she always has the greatest prices. See what I mean right here with the books? She only has one dollar on this book. That is thrift store pricing. I really thought about grabbing these for my winter decor, but my decor this year is a little more muted and I thought those kind of had a sparkle to them. Now right here, this deer, this fuzzy deer was really cute as well. He has a little sticker on the bottom that says made in Hong Kong. And I even think she had him marked down to three, but I just didn't know 100% where I would use him. So I left him in the store. This here was kind of like the mother load of pictures. There were so many, there were postcards, just so many things and they were so pretty. This one right here I really loved. That one right there on the left that I was pointing at. I almost brought that one home, but I didn't. That might be my regret of the day because I just thought that was a beautiful picture and especially for spring. But I am really trying to focus and only get things that I love and I'm going to use. And I'm just not ready to start thinking about spring decor yet. And then look at this beauty right here for $8, the Sun Bee bowl. Many of you mentioned in a video or two back that something that you were looking for this year were fairy lights. And there is one right there. I was almost afraid to turn over the tag because they are generally pretty pricey, but that one was $29.99. I did leave it there, but I wanted to share it with everybody because I know a lot of you are out there looking for them. Thank you. 
just another cutie I had to share. I don't know what it was. This guy just jumped out at me. It's one of those things that I love, love, love it, but I don't know where I would put it in my house and use it, but he was so cute sitting there. And then here's just lots of this beautiful kitchenware right here. Wanted to share it with you as well because I know a lot of you collect this and it was just so pretty to see it all sitting together there on the shelf. That's something that I really like about going to the antique stores. It's really fun to see some of the booths and how they design them and how they display their items because it can give you a lot of great ideas even if you don't plan on buying anything. Look at this gorgeous Roseville bowl. Now I have not seen green Roseville. Have you guys seen anything like this before? Let me know down in the comments and be sure to comment on the video whether or not you wanna guess what the unbelievable score is or not. Be sure to comment because in every video we're going to do a commenter shout out and every time you comment, you have a chance to be that commenter that gets shouted out in the next video. I hope that you understand that and I did not make that too confusing confusing, but our shouted out commenter today is Right here is an example of what I was just talking about with some super great ideas that you can get from popping in these antique stores. I never would have thought of using a spool as a hat rack or a hat stand, but I'm going to keep that in mind as we're heading into this year because we're going to be redoing our bedroom. So I'm going to jot that one down and keep that as an idea. And then of course I had to look at the school bus because I do work in an elementary school. And this past year for Christmas, I kind of started getting a few vintage toys. So I definitely wanted to check this one out a little closer. Let's go ahead and head into store number two. And this store is a good bit different from the other one. They are super close together where they are located. This is actually in Parkersburg or Vienna, West Virginia, if you are curious. But this store right here has so many things like this. Like on my coffee bar, I have that on the side where we added that handle to use as a towel rack. I actually got that vintage handle from here. So this is a great place if you're looking for knobs, locks, they have all kinds of these kinds of things. After watching Nicole North Garden Thrifter, I had to look at these clipboards. She had such a great idea of hanging things off of them. I never would have thought about that. Thank you so much, Nicole. Now this one here was five, but the other one was 20. And the gentleman that actually runs the store said he's actually sold some of these upwards of $50 or so, depending on like the store that's on them. And then look at this right here, all of these beautiful, vintage Christmas cards. I could not believe it. I wish I would have found these before Christmas, but still so amazing to see all of these in one place. What a treasure that somebody took so much time to scrapbook these.
Of course, I had to check out this old mitt right here. Our son Elijah loves baseball, so I had to check out the price on that. Only $6. That would be so cute in like a person's room who either loves baseball or loves softball. Very cute. And then I'm checking this out right here, and you guys are going to have to wait for it. Do you remember in my last thrifting video, we talked about something, and I said I had my 16th birthday party there, and you guys said that you loved it, you could remember it. There it is, another pair of roller skates. I thought this was another neat decor idea right here. Usually you see the figure skates hanging off of the sleds. I thought it was really neat to see those ones right there hanging off of this old piece of white picket fence. Scary alert, scary alert. Ah, I could not believe, I, I turned around right there after looking at everything and then that was sitting there and I thought it was a person sitting there. So that was really scary looking. This might be another thing that I regret not picking up this day. I've actually never seen one of those before. I thought it had some great detail, was in really great shape, but I was looking for copper and brass and I just did not have my mind on the silver, but oh, that was really neat. I was happy to see here that I got a good deal on my doorknobs. I actually got mine for six and these ones here were 10. If you saw my winter tiered tray video, I used my doorknobs on my tray. So if you wanna check out that video as well, I will link it down below. But we are coming up on what you guys are waiting for, the entire haul, the unbelievable score. I'm bringing it all to you. I hope that you are ready. I am so excited. And just like that, my phone died in the store, so I was not able to record anymore, but I had done lots of recording. So we're gonna go ahead now and just get into the haul. And the first thing that I have to share with you is a white sunbeam bowl that you will have seen in the footage and in my winter decorate with me because I used this with my beautiful sunbeam mixer that I recently thrifted at Goodwill for $4.99. I love that thing so much and I got lucky and I found this bowl right here to go with it for eight dollars on the same day I absolutely love it now this is one of these smaller ones I'm hoping to find a larger one as well Next up, I have a clipboard, and I would never have thought about picking up a clipboard until I watched Nicole North Garden Thrifter. If you guys watch her, you probably do. She suggested, or she uses these clipboards to actually put things on and hang them up and display them. And I thought, Missy, you love music sheets. That is a great idea, so thank you, Nicole. So I did get this for $5. I don't want to get it too close because it tends to get dark and I'm going to use this coming up here real soon. Stay tuned. I have lots of bonus footage with you, not footage, but items that you're not going to want to miss. And one of them is going to go on this clipboard. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it for Valentine's day because guys, that's right around the corner. Now, 
The next thing that I'm going to share with you is what I'm calling the unbelievable score because I love vintage Christmas more than anything. And so I'm really excited about this. You'll have to let me know down in the comments, did you guess right? And it is this stack right here of scrapbooks and they are 100% filled with vintage Christmas postcards or Christmas cards. How beautiful. These go all the way back to the 1940s up through the 50s and I cannot believe I have all of these but you're going to have to let me know what ideas do you have that I could do with these cards because I don't want to necessarily keep them in the books. I want to put them out on display. So I thought about maybe doing a huge collage and a frame doing uh, of course things with them individually but what ideas if you guys had these would you suggest to do to display these because they are all absolutely beautiful I love them all the Santas are of course my favorite and the gentleman gave me all of these all three of them for $20 so a super great steal I wish I would have found them before Christmas but I will take them anytime all right thank you so much for sticking around because you are getting some bonus treasures right here do you remember when I thrifted this little picture right here at Goodwill recently and it was three dollars you're not gonna believe what I found. I went into one of the antique stores and I found these three little glasses right here that match that picture perfectly. I got them all for $4. They are the most adorable little size and there are three which is perfect for our family because there are three of us. I love them so I have two that are like this right here and then I have one that is a little bit different so how cute are these going to be with my little picture? I'm so happy to have found all of these. I just love them. I love orange juice. Many of you have mentioned to me in the comments of my videos that something you are looking for is fairy lights. So I wanted to share the one I saw in the footage and this next one that I have right here. I did buy my first fairy light because I feel like I found this one for a really good price. Price. So not the one in the video, but I found a milk glass fairy light for $12 and it is this right here. If you saw my tiered tray video yesterday, I used this on my tiered tray and it is just the perfect size. I'll put a link to that video down below if you missed it. Now on the inside down in here, it does say it is Fenton and it is this beautiful milk glass so I love this I love putting my little tea light in it and looking at it at night it is so cute so you all will have to let me know have you found your fairy lights yet I would love to hear down in the comments now you guys are gonna love what I have coming up next I was looking for something to collect didn't know what exactly I wanted it to be but if you saw my Amish country haul from the trip or the haul from our Amish country trip, get this right Missy, I got a little shelf and it had lots of squares in it and I actually have it up on my bookshelf right over there right now, but I thought what can I collect to put in there and I found this piece and I knew right then this was perfect because I love vintage and I love kitties and it is this vintage cat right here that I got for $4.50 it is beautiful it has marking on it on the back that says japan and i just think this is going to be perfect it fits in those squares so perfectly and it fits me perfectly because i love vintage and like i said i love my kitties i have four fur babies and i absolutely adore them all I've also been looking for some unique things to add to my winter decor. That's kind of what I framed my tiered tray around yesterday was unique things that you can use on your tiered tray that you might not have thought of before. And so I saw this little tin right here and it was only $4 and I thought this would look so cute in a little vignette for winter because it does say on the top snow proof which is kind of perfect. It's in the neutral tones that I have been loving for my winter decor. And again, only $4, good little size, super cute in a vignette. I think it's something that you use for leather, 
Before I get into the Valentine's goodies that I have for you today, I have this adorable little deer right here and he just grabbed my eye. Now this is a piece of Hager pottery. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but it has that little tag there on the bottom. Now I don't believe I've ever seen any Hager pottery before, or if I did, I didn't know I did. This was actually $10.99. I don't know if that's a good price. So if you collect this, kind of let me know down in the comments, I would be curious. But I grabbed up this little deer because it was so cute, but also because it has this little planter uh, like place here in the back where you could put a plant or maybe a candle. I'm not sure, but I'm actually using mine with a little bottle brush tree and I think it looks beautiful. Making our way into the Valentine's finds, and the first thing that I have for you is this little set of blocks in this baggie right here. Now it's in this baggie because I don't want my kitties playing with it right now because they will, but they actually spell out love, and they had them spelled out like that in the store, and I thought, that is a great idea. Now I got this for $1. They were like 25 cents a piece and I thought that's great. Don't want to spend a ton of money on adding some Valentine's touches. I also have something here that was only a dollar and it is this music sheet right here. You know how much I'm loving these lately and it says on the top budding roses and then underneath it says romance. But what really jumped out about this to me was that everything was in red and I thought that is going to be perfect for Valentine's. The copyright on the bottom is 1932. Now remember the clipboard I showed you a little bit ago? So I have my clipboard right here and then my music sheet. So that is my intention is to clip this on this clipboard right here and display this like that. So I think that's going to pack a super punch for only six dollars. While I was out and about shopping, I was trying to think of ways I could bring some Valentine's touches into the kitchen, and I thought with an apron in there on my kitchen rod would be a great way. I love putting those on there. They add so much texture, and they're really pretty, so I thought I'm going to find a vintage Valentine's apron. Now, I wasn't sure I would find one that day, but I did get lucky enough to find one, and it was $8.99. I think this is beautiful. I love the roses on the bottom. I'm kind of going for for the red for Valentine's Day rather than the pink. I feel like the red is a little more vintage, even though pink's my favorite color. But I love the bottom of this. I feel like it kind of has like a doily type look to it. It has an adorable little pocket right here on the front, which is always super cute. It is a half apron. And this will be perfect hanging in there off of my kitchen rod and adding just that one or that little beautiful touch of Valentine's Day in the kitchen. Of course, I will add some other things. Be sure to click this playlist right here on your screen for tons more thrifting fun and hauls. You won't wanna miss those. Also, please be sure to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so that you can be back here with your YouTube family every time I release a video. Love you all, bye bye